In no time, the BJP has set the ball rolling for an SIT to bring back black money stashed away in foreign banks. Senior advocate and former BJP member Ram Jait Malani told NNIS that there were strict orders from the Supreme Court to constitute an SIT in the investigation, which was clearly bypassed. Ram Jait Malani said, while there was an order by the SC for the government to have an SIT probe on black money, the erstwhile Congress government he claimed did not act. He said it was made clear that two retired judges of the Apex Court were to lead. But the Congress cleverly got judges to back out eventually, leading to no investigation. Jait Malani added that commenting on the Congress now was futile as it was out of power. The Supreme Court had already ordered that the government should constitute an SIT for this investigation. And they had also said that this SIT will be headed by two retired Supreme Court judges. Magar, this, I mean, when I'm talking of this government, I'm really referring to the previous government, which fortunately we have got rid of. That government, for two years, they did not obey that order. And they quietly had got a letter from one of the judges that I don't want to work without disclosing it to anybody. For two years, they did not disclose it to anybody. That we have immediately taken the steps. So, but now I don't want to talk about the dishonesty of that government. That government has been punished by the people. What Modiji's government has done is to follow the direction of the Supreme Court and get that vacancy filled. That vacancy was also filled by the Supreme Court about a week before. So now the SIT will start functioning. I don't think that the government claims that they have created an SIT. Ram Jait Malani said that he had sent all the proof to the Prime Minister for immediate action. He elaborates further. Why do I think? Because you should see the evidence. You see the evidence, the, the documents which I have got, the documents which I have sent to the, to, the, to the Prime Minister. And they have done nothing about it. But I can't be there. There's a bunch of documents. There are 5,000 crores involved and which have been laundered through various subsidiary companies of one of your very prominent uh, news channels. Powered by NNIS.